Do you want to beat the sweltering Orlando heat? We all do. Here are the seven very best indoor playgrounds in Orlando. Okay, today you just get me. It's mommy and me time. I kick George out because really it's the moms who take charge of the kids most of the time, dads, don't I drop a comment in there that you take care of the kids. I know that a lot of you do, but still, I'm focusing on what we can do with our kids that doesn't cost a lot of money, that we don't have to take them to Disney World or Universal because sometimes this is just too darn hot. We want to be indoors. So let's focus on the very best indoor playgrounds. Number one that was my favorite when I used to take my daughters um, was Rebounders. I don't know if they have those where you live, but it's basically one of those big indoor trampoline type of places. You do have to purchase those special socks with the little rubber things on them. I think my dad has a pair of those still that he uses because he's old. I love you, dad, if you're watching, sorry. But anyway, Rebounders is fantastic um, for all ages, really. Of course, the little ones can't get on the, the trampolines, but it's really fun for kids of all ages. And what's really cool about this too is one night a week, they have parents night out. So you can drop your kids off there. You can go have a quick dinner with your husband for about two hours and then come back and pick up your kid and you know that they're gonna be safe and secure in that building. So if you haven't been to Rebounders, you've got to go check it out. Millie Moose is also a fantastic indoor playground. And this one is unique because it's really for kids ages eight and under. A lot of activities for them. You do have to have your kids wear socks, just not the special ones. Um, so check that one out as well. Uh, you, little kids, eight and under. Again, I think that's the important thing to note. You're gonna have a lot of fun there with your kids too. Now we have to talk about Monkey Joe's. And I gotta tell you that my kids were afraid of Monkey Joe when he when I would have their birthday parties there. Uh, they were so afraid afraid of him, but I think he's so cute. Monkey Joe's is another indoor playground where everything is inflatable. So it's kind of like bounce houses. Um, kids will have a ton of fun there. You can have your birthday parties there. You do have to check the hours uh, for all of the uh, indoor playgrounds I'm talking about because certain times of the day they're closed or they'll only open at 12 o'clock. But Monkey Joe's is fantastic. The kids have a lot of fun and I used to love laughing at my daughters when they would fall over. But they were always safe, so don't worry. Number three is one Wonderworks. And this is really too for the big kids like George. He loves to go to Wonderworks. Um, Jackie, you know I can hear you, right? Well, you know what? Get out! Shoo! Get out of here! Uh -huh. Wonderworks! And if you go on long um, International Drive, you can't miss the building. It's an upside down building. They have all kinds of fun and interesting things there. Dark rope courses, laser tag. They even have a magic comedy show. Titanic and they have experience. the Titanic experiences there. Thank you, George. You're not supposed to be here. This is ladies only. I'm leaving. Okay, that's not true. Men, you're allowed here too. You know what I mean? Give me a break. You really will have a lot of fun there. You do have to pay for the admission, but I promise you, it is worth the price. There's also a pretty unique indoor playground. It's called Kids Play and Party. And that is like really cool. They have like a doctor's house and like a regular house. And they focus on the Zumbini approach, which is learning through music and like just like dancing and stuff like that. So it's really unique. It's for kids six months old to 11 years old. So it's a great way for you to get some time out, have your kids learn in a different environment, listening to music. My daughters to this day, they listen to classical music when they're studying. Um, so I think it's fantastic to integrate your kids and teach them that at a very early age. So check that one out. The next one is probably my favorite one. It is the Florida Mall Playground. So you can go shopping, your kids, when they're tired of mom, I don't wanna go in the store, we, can we go home, can we go home? You can just take them over to the little playground. They kind of themed it like Alice in Wonderland. It's really cool, it's very safe, uh, and it's free. So you have to love that one. It's free, the air conditioning is kicking in there all the time. Go grab yourself a pretzel from Auntie's on Annie's Pretzel, which is fantastic. And just sit there, eat your pretzel, have your tea, and watch your kids play. I mean, what else? There's no better way to spend the day, to me anyway, than to go and hit that mall. By the way, if you like the content that we're putting out, we would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and drop a comment in there if you want me to create a video or George and I to create any content on something that you're interested in. We will absolutely do that for you. And if you've already subscribed, Thank you. It means a lot to us.
All right, the last one is Kittyverse. And this one is for kids up to 12 years old, but if your child is younger than one, then they get in for free. They have, of course, the um, jungle gym area, indoor playgrounds, and they have like an eye wall, which is where the kids, it's kind of cool where um, they use their body as like the remote control. So if they wanna fling something this way or play tennis, they have to actually use their hand movements. Uh, so a lot of fun there for your kids. Again, they're free if they're under, uh, a one year old and please check the hours of operations and check the locations for these areas some of them are franchises so you might find them outside of orlando as well so i hope you enjoyed this content for today i know that george is somewhere over there um i th hopefully george is making me some coffee yes dear. thank you i mean he's a good guy all right that's all the content for today i hope you enjoyed it have a wonderful day bye for now